Welcome to our lecture online. So let's say we're given the same equation as we were in the previous video where y equals 2x plus 4 and now we're not looking for a line but now we're looking for d line and it's now going to be video number 33. d line that also contains a point 2, 5 and which is perpendicular to the line that's given. So now there will be only a specific line that will meet that criteria. So first of all, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find the equation in this format, and we're going to use this condition to find the slope of the second line. Or in this case, let's call that the second line, and we're looking for the, the slope of the first line, so that m1 is equal to negative 1 over m2, and m2 is equal to 2, so that means that m1 is equal to negative 1 half. So now we plug that into this equation, so we have y equals negative 1 half x plus b1, and now it's up to finding b1 by using this additional piece of information. We know that that point is on that line. Okay, if that point is on the line, how do we find it? Well, this is the x and y coordinate, x and y coordinate of that point. So let's plug that into the x and y value over here. So x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. So let's plug that in. So here we have 5 is equal to minus one-half times x, and x is equal to 2, plus b1. And now we're able to solve for that specific point where the new line we're looking for crosses the y-axis. So this becomes y equals negative 1 plus b1. Move that across, we get 5 plus 1 equals b1, or b1 equals 6. So now that we also have b1 and we have m1, now we can see that this equation we're looking for can be written as y is equal to m1x, m1 is minus 1 half, plus b1, and b1 is equal to 6. And now we found the specific equation which is perpendicular to the original line that was given to us of y equals 2x plus 4. And again, if we want to see what that looks like, let's graph that. So here we have the y-axis, here we have the x-axis, and notice that our y-intercept is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right there, and the slope is 2, that means up to 1, 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, so you can see that if we go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, that corresponds to a slope of 2, here's the two points that it generates, let's connect all those points, and there's line number 1, or actually we call that line number 2, didn't we, so that's line 2. And now we're going to draw line 1. So this is line 1, the one we looked for. And notice that the intercept is 6. So we go 1, that's, so this is 4, this is 6. But the slope is negative 1 half. That means down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. That gives us these points. If we connect those points, you can see that, yes indeed, those two lines are perpendicular to one another, and now we're looking for a specific line which meets the criteria that the slope is negative one-half and the y-intercept is equal to six, and that gives us the line we're looking for. And that is how it's done. Oh, that's a good question. The point two five, x equal two, one, two, and y equal five, right there. So that's the point 0.25. Let me indicate that. So there's a point 0.25. That's the point on the line that we were looking for. Good point, right there. 